What's up, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more Roland Orzabal. And I'd like to apologize, somehow this deep dive once again went longer than I intended, uh, and I didn't even realize how long it had gone until after I had downloaded and prepared the next track, which is to say I don't have a double ready to go, but the next time I come back around to Roland, which I'll try to make sure is within a week or so, um, I'll do another double. So basically, we'll get through the end of this Tomcat Screaming Outside album, 2001, and on to Everybody Loves a Happy Ending, which I'm looking forward to. Uh, but yeah, the next tune on Tomcat Screaming Outside is Kill Love. On the surface, my first thought is that it sounds like a prescription or a directive, uh, and therefore a verb and a noun. I suppose it could be a modifier and a noun, which is to say kill love could be a type of love, a love that you know, is a, is a wicked thing, you know, wicked game type of, you know, how wicked of you to, you know, say you love me. Um, but ultimately, I would expect more the other, the idea of let's get rid of love, let's put love down before it causes any more harm and damage. Um, either way, I expect there to be more to it, you know, even if one of those concepts is relevant. So let's find out. This is Roland Orzabal. The tune is Kill Love, and it's the, or it's a track from the 2001 album Tomcat Screaming Outside. <laughs>
drum and bass rhythms, we've got sort of, um, what's the word, um, like energetic pop rock rhythms, we've got uh, such a dynamic evolution of the tune overall, it's like crazy, like Roland, I've mentioned it before, I see him as like this musical genius, and this is a tune, I think, you know, encapsulating it as much as any that I can think of in the moment, uh, and it's funny, because it's like, you could be that kind of composer, you could have that sense for you know, using natural instruments and um, keyboards, but to also have that voice, right? So it's like, you know, he has these abilities, and then it's like, oh, by the way, he can sing like that. So um, an incredible tune, um, I'll admit. I'm not quite sure, you know, it's, there were a couple of lines which sounded like, you know, for your peace of mind, which I think was following Kill Love. So um, perhaps there's something to the idea of, you know, the turmoil and the, you know, the toll that that can take on you, um, perhaps, you know, for people who've been through the rockier side of that, it's like, you know, let's just put a stop to this, but I feel like even if that's part of it, there's more going on here, so, um, lyrically, I'm not quite sure, need to re-listen, we'll look forward to the comments, um, but yeah, sonically, it was, I liked it even more than the, what was it, Hey Andy, the previous, um, <clears throat> one with a uh, sort of drum and bass styling, so, um, yeah, bottom line, uh, Roland exploring sonic territories that are not only of interest to me as someone who, you know, is into, um, 90s, um, and early 2000s dance music styles, but also, um, just hearing someone known for, you know, synth pop and pop rock with Tears for Fears, you know, really going in some directions that, um, I don't think had been covered up until this point, um, by, under the Tears for Fears name anyway. So, um, yeah, bottom line, really enjoyed this one. Um, like I said, I'll come back within a week or so, and we'll do a double of rolling. So, apologies, and I appreciate the patience. Uh, shout out once again to Philip, shout out to Kim, shout out to Michael, shout out to Kevin, all the people who've been following the Tears for Fears and Roland reactions going back. Um, to the early days. So yeah, big ups to all of you and a number of people who I know inevitably I'll forget to mention and then uh, be angry at myself later, which is why I always am hesitant to start listing names because, you know, my brain is porous. It's a sieve, as I said. So in any case, uh, yeah, let me know what you think of this one. I will see you next time. Peace.